Greetings, everyone. I am Dr. Wolf, and I just watched the final My Little Pony clip show episode, Memories and More. I do have to admit, <laughs> watching all six of these clip show episodes has really awakened a lot of feelings of nostalgia over the years. I first started watching the show back in 2012, began making videos in 2013, and it's been continuous ever since. So even though the show has come to an end and these clip show episodes were a pleasant surprise, I never would have thought that it would have awakened so many feelings of nostalgia. And yeah, I'm sure that's by design. These are meant to be memory episodes. These are all focused on each of the main six's best moments, followed by Starlight and Spike, and yeah, even the Royal Sisters. I didn't see that coming, but I am grateful for their inclusion. Most of all, I am so happy with what they did for Spike. Because Spike has been with Twilight more than any other character in the entirety of the show. I've always seen their relationship as sort of a brotherly-sisterly bond, but one could make the argument that Twilight is the closest thing that Spike has ever had to a mother, especially since the very first flashback they show is Spike being hatched from his egg, followed by Spike showing his maturity through his willingness to put himself in danger in order to keep others safe, which culminates in the moment where Spike realizes he doesn't have to find his real parents. Because Twilight always has been, and always will be, the closest family he's ever had. Given the many scenes that these two characters have shared over the years, Owl's Well that ends well, Dragon Quest, even a short little moment at the end of Lesson Zero, which really emphasizes just how lost Twilight would have been without Spike in her life, and vice versa. And then there are a few scenes that are dedicated to Starlight Glimmer, the Season 5 premiere, the Season 5 finale, and even the Season 7 premiere, where Twilight basically tells Starlight that she's taught her all that she can about friendship, and that she needs to find her own path in life. I've heard many arguments over the years that Starlight Glimmer is, in many ways, inspired by Sunset Shimmer, and there is some truth to that. But I am grateful that between these two characters, they led two very different stories, even though it was built on similar starting points. And like I said earlier, even though I wasn't expecting to see the Royal Sisters and their own flashbacks, I am grateful that they were included here. Because, of course, Celestia has been such a wonderful mentor figure to Twilight over the years, and I really wish they would have shown that short little scene in the Season 7 premiere where Celestia was going through many of the same beats that Twilight was going through in regards to Starlight Glimmer. How she had to let Twilight grow on her own and couldn't be there to keep her safe and protected all the time. And of course, I'm sure there are tons of fans out there who are immensely grateful that they included a few moments of Luna as well. It is a bit weird to hear Luna speaking in the royal we, because Luna Eclipsed is pretty much the only episode where we got to hear her speaking in this manner. And I will admit, this short little moment from Do Princesses Dream of Magic Sheep still has left quite the impression on me over the years. This was one of the key elements in Luna's therapy visit that I put together years ago, and to this day, it is probably among the top five videos I have ever made that has left such a lasting impact. It has been such a treat to see each of these characters again, even if it is with very few new clips. A lot of this is flashbacks to episodes we've seen multiple times over the years, but it certainly had its desired effect. I really do want to go back through the series all over again. <laughs> Although, I do think that when Twilight was talking about how a book like this can never really end, that might have been a way for the writers and animators and the rest of the MLP staff to talk about how they kind of wish that they could have kept going with the show. I know there's going to be another My Little Pony movie coming out in 2021, but that's something like 450 days, maybe a little less from now. So quite a ways. And then eventually they're going to come up with My Little Pony G5. I was kind of hoping they'd just give a tiny hint on what to expect with G5 from these clip show episodes. 
But, you know, they are continuing the series in the comics. I know they're being delayed until further notice, given the state of the world right now, but at least we will get to see further stories from G4 in that fashion. All in all, though, this has been very fun. I hadn't expected any of these clip show episodes to come out until the first one that was suddenly dropped on us. I'm like, oh, wow, hey, this is nice. <laughs> and now that it's come to an end, I admit, it certainly went a long way in building some nostalgic memories for me. Much like the characters in these episodes, I really want to look back on how far I've come over the years and all the friends I've made through this YouTube channel that I really didn't think would go anywhere when I first came up with that video about Fluttershy. In a way, I suppose these clip show episodes have more of an impact on me because of how much of a connection it's built up in what I have done over the years and who I've met and all the relationships that I've built up over the years. I am glad that the final episode focused on not only Spike and Starlight, but the Royal Sisters as well. Those feelings of nostalgia are nice, but... It is a welcome reminder that we can continue to create new memories and forge new paths and overcome new struggles. And I honestly hope that such challenges will continue to help me to grow, as well as many of you out there. But then, what did each of you think of these clip show episodes? Now that they've come to an end, and we really have no idea what the next My Little Pony venture of any kind will be like, what are you hoping for in the future? And what sort of friendships have you fostered over the years because of the Brony community? Leave your thoughts in the comments below, because as always, I am Dr. Wolf, and I look forward to hearing from you.